Okay, we're ready for the fourth video for to prepare for exam three. Um, so I'm going to have to call D as usual. All the regular stuff. Get a bigger piece of paper. Get the pencil. Get this um, paper to go down a little bit. Just really coax this thing into going down. If we can. There we go. Not bad. And the title. Here comes the title. No, I need my pencil. Okay, so the title is Exam 3, Matt 105. Exam 3, Review D. It's our fourth one. Okay, let's get right into it. Problem number one for this particular piece of paper is as follows. Find X and Y intercepts. There could be more than, there could be one, there could be two. So there's a little S here. So there could be two of each, one of each, or one of one and two of the other. Okay, but I'll, I can tell you in advance there are going to be two of each in this case, but there are, those all those possibilities are possible. Okay, what's the problem look like? 36 x squared plus 64 y squared equals 49. All right, first, first I'll tell you what I'm going to sort of do a little commentary on the side here. First, let's do, let's go get, let's get, first, let's get x intercept. Get x intercept. What do you do for that? That means, that means set y equals zero. Okay. 36x squared. Y is equal to zero. That means that's gone. Forget this. Equals 49. Divide by 36, we got to, if we're going to set y equals zero, set, I'm sorry, well, I should have did a little bit more here, but set y equals zero, and then find x. Right? That's our agenda. Wait, so we got to find x. I set y to zero, it's gone. I've got to find what x is. So divide by 36 on the left, divide by 36 on the right. Right? Don't do any, don't do any simplification yet. Don't do any simplification. Just bear with me for a second. Let's wait a little bit is equal to what? Is equal to 49 over 36. Now, we're interested in x, right? We're interested in x, not x squared, x. That means we have to take the square root of x squared, take the square root of x squared, and whatever you do to the left, you do to the right. So we get x is equal to, now when you take the square root though, you get two roots, so it's plus or minus. Four, it's the square root of 49 over 36. Now, what's the square root of 49? The square root of 49 is 7. So it's plus or minus 7. Square root of 49 is 7. And the square root of 36 is 6. So here's our two intercepts. 0, the, I'm sorry, 7, positive 7, 6. Positive 7, 6, comma, 0. And uh, negative 7, 6. Uh, negative 7 is 6. Where is it? Negative 7, 6, comma, 0. Here are our x intercepts right here. There are two of them. Let me get the paper up. I need this paper to go up. There we go. All right. Now, what's the next thing we got to do? Actually, I got to come down again. I'm sorry. I got to come down because we got to see a little bit of what, what the, old, the old stuff looked like. That's the big, okay. So there's the original up, original up there on, on the paper, the original. So let's go up over here, and we have our x-intercepts. So we have part of the answer is in right here. Here's part of our answer. Okay, now, it's our, now is the time to go get the y-intercepts. That's our job now, y-intercepts. What should I do to go get y-intercepts? What I do to get the y-intercepts is to set x equals 0 and find y, right? Scrap paper. I'll, I'll call it scrap paper. 
just for symmetry's purposes, right? That was what I did first. Let's first, let's get that. This is second. We're going to get the y-intercepts, and that means set x equals 0 and find y. So take the original that's on your paper, on your test paper, and set x equals 0. That means 36x squared is going to turn into just nothing. What do we have left standing? 64y squared equals 49, because 36 times 0 is 0. Divide by 64 on the left. Divide by 64 on the right. We get y squared. We're looking for y, right? We're not looking for y squared. We need y. So y squared is equal to, this is gone, is equal to 49 over 64. We got to take the square root of y squared because we want y. Take the square root of the, of the right hand side if you do that. You get y is equal to, um, you get y is equal to plus or minus, right? As soon as you take the square root, you got two roots of 49 over 49 over 64. Take the square root of 49, you'll get 7. So plus or minus. Square root of 49, you're going to get 7. And the square root of 64, you're going to get 8. Here's our two y-intercepts. I can put them pretty close to the x-intercepts. Our y-intercepts are 0, comma, positive 7 eighths. There's one of them. And the other one is 0, comma, negative 7 eighths. That's the second. So there's a total of four intercepts, two y's, two y-intercepts, and two x-intercepts. OK, so it looks like I can only get, unfortunately, only one piece, one piece of information on this paper. It's too crowded. Let me see if I just got a little bit more room upstairs for just one thing. No, I'm going to have to end this video.